It's that time once again. Thank you so much for joining me for another edition of the Foolish Fish Esoteric News with your weekly updates on the worlds of esoteric and occult book publishing and arts and events and paraphernalia. Thank you so much to Miskatonic Books for sponsoring the show. Miskatonic Books have just completed an entire year of supporting the Foolish Fish Esoteric News. Thank you so, so much. That means so much to me and I know that many viewers really appreciate it as well, keeping the show going like this. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I'm sure that many viewers will join me in their thanks. Miskatonic Books are your number one purveyor internationally of difficult-to-find esoteric books, but also if you're based in the United States and there are some books that have been published abroad, Miskatonic Books are probably the cheapest place where you'll be able to find those books with just low cost shipping fees, right? So Miskatonic Books, uh, you, I recommend that you follow them on Facebook and I also recommend that you go and check out their page and you'll be able to see all their uh, new books that have been published recently and uh, also books that have been published uh, not so recently, right? Books that are difficult to find, books that have been out of print for a long time, deluxe books that are completely impossible to find, Miskatonic Books will find them for you. And in fact, if there are any books that they don't have, uh, you can just go to the particular page of that book on their website and sign up to be alerted for whenever they get that book in stock. So really, really a nice service right there. Let's move on to news from Black Letter Press. Excellent news from Black Letter Press. Many people who have been uh, uh, following their Bibliothèque Bleu Grimoire series that have, they've been doing for the past, goodness, uh, has it been three or four years now, right? Uh, they've been publishing these books in really lovely little formats. They are doing the entire Limegaton, <laughs> the Lesser Key of Solomon, in individual book format. So from what I understand, these are going to be slightly larger than the Bibliothèque Bleu uh, books. So if any of you have received the latest edition of The Monk by Black Letter Press, so, press, so slightly bigger, not quite as big as... Um, uh, as uh, forbidden, uh, forbidden, uh, f uh, hidden paths. I can't even remember the name of my own book. Um, I'm so excited about this Limegaton news. Um, so yeah, not quite as big as uh, as hidden paths, my book, right? But uh, somewhere in between, I guess. Uh, and you'll be able to see that it's not just black and white. It's actually going to be color printing, and it looks like they're uh, just going to be tidying up some of um, of the, uh, the the versions of the Ars Goetia. So that's going to be the first book in the Lemegaton series. Uh, they're going to be tidying some of the versions from Sibley's library. I had to pause there just to remember who, <laughs> the name of Sibley. But uh, uh, yeah, these, this is the, uh, the, 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 uh, the library from which um, I, I know that uh, Joseph Peterson and uh, Stephen Skinner have been uh, publishing some of uh, the, 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 I mean, they're kind of pretty white, right, as you can see. Um, uh, but uh, this is going to be a combination from various sources. I really recommend having a look at um, what they're offering over here. And then, yeah, of course, the excellent, excellent news uh, that uh, subsequent volumes will explore the Ars Theurgia, so the the Theurgia, Theurgia, um, uh, Goetia, of course, uh, Ars Paulina, uh, Ars Almadel, and Ars Notoria. Uh, very, very exciting news. I think that'll be a really nice little collection to have. Okay, good stuff. Next, we've got news from Anathema Publishing, who have released their artisanal edition of The Red Shepherd. So The Red Shepherd came out a couple of months ago. Um, but yeah, those of you who've been waiting for the artisanal edition, it's finally being shipped, or about to be shipped from what I understand. 21 copies have been made. I think there are four left. If you want a copy of your own, then yeah, I would get on that quite fast. Look at that slipcase, how cool it is. This kind of two-part slipcase, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, um, uh, Anathema Publishing really do, I think I can probably confidently say that they do one of the two best deluxe editions in the world. Um, uh, there, there might be an argument to say that they do the best. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> there there may be some contention there, but but certainly among the the, the two top 
top in the world. It's definitely no question about that. Um, and uh, yeah, this just looks absolutely wonderful. Absolutely beautiful. Look, look at that. Look at that edge. Mm, yes. <laughs> very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed in this kind of, um, yeah, two-part um, cover. Just just really, really lovely. It's kind of reminiscent of the, the standard edition, right, which was kind of cut down the centre with two different textures on both sides. Um, yeah, oof, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. And then more news from Anathema Publishing. I told you last week about this mind-blowing news that uh, uh, they're going to be doing a Kickstarter in first quarter of 2024. I, remember, I reminded you to save some of those Christmas funds for <laughs> the early part of the year because, uh, yeah, they're going to be publishing this uh, uh, collection of art from José Gabriel Alegría Sabogal. And they're asking, like, are there any of these art prints that you'd like to see on the Kickstarter at the same time? So these are prints, um, not, not all of them maybe, at, at least some of them are prints that have already been printed, right? I'm, I've got this right in front of me on the wall in, uh, of my bedroom here. Uh, Venenum Quad Sanat, I think that was the first print from uh, Anathema Publishing that I purchased. Very, very beautiful, very um, hermetic, as you can see. And then there's the Descent of Christ into uh, Hell, uh, which is which was extremely popular. I didn't have the funds at the time uh, to pick up my own. Uh, this is the, uh, the kind of double font from uh, uh, the beginning, uh, from the, the kind of end papers of Aurorai. Gorgeous. I think this is the first ever picture that I ever saw from Jose's work. Um, and then this uh, this image, which is on the cover now of Ororai, the paperback edition, uh, which was previously inside, of course, but um, kind of the, the, the center fold, or the, the center was actually a little bit hidden inside the seam. And well, as you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous. And then here, the descent of Oedipus, uh, Oedipus of, uh, talking about Orpheus, I'm sorry, uh, into, um, into Tartarus, into the underworld. Um, uh, and this one is probably the most colorful uh, of the six. I think it's the one that's got my, that's got my vote because I've, I've you know, I've already got the the one that I really wanted, so I'm being a bit selfish here, but I know that some of you weren't able to pick this one up uh, and will certainly be voting for that one. Uh, but they're all, it's, how do you make a choice, right? <laughs> how do you make a choice? Absolutely gorgeous stuff. Anyway, uh, they are asking for your opinion. Do you want uh, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six? And they're asking to please not ask for more than one or two so that it's actually useful for them. If you say, yeah, all six, then, well, it doesn't help them to make a choice, right? Um, uh, and uh, yeah, so they're, they're, um, they're simply asking that um, you either reach out to them on social media or respond to the email if you're... If you're uh, subscribe to their newsletter, this particular newsletter, then you can reply to the newsletter and let them know that way which one or two you would like to see printed or reprinted. Very, very cool stuff. Okay, let's move on to news from Scarlet Imprint. Uh, two Esoteric Tarot's is out. It's um, being shipped as we speak. So it's a conversation between Peter Mark Adams and Christophe Ponce on the esoteric tarot in relation to the elite and Saturnian Sola Busca Tarocchi and the popular and luminous Tarot de Marseille. The two leading researchers into the hidden legacy of the tarot discuss the significance of their discoveries, which over turn the prevailing academic orthodoxy and in doing so transforms our understanding of the role of the role of tarot in western esotericism very very exciting stuff and as you can see it's um, as always a beautiful beautiful book from scarlet imprint the fine edition i'm not sure are there no there aren't any there are some left 
there are some left. Okay, that's very, very rare for a Scarlet Imprint book. Uh, for those to still be around um, uh, are within after a couple of hours, right? They're usually gone. Uh, but uh, but yes, the fine edition at three hundred and twenty-five pounds. It seems like there's still some copies left. Incredible as that may sound. And then the standard hardcover edition, uh, which is for £30. So this is probably quite a small book, right? So a book the size of, say, The True Grimoire, uh, Jake Stratton Kent's The True Grimoire, uh, which is, I'd say, a standard size for, uh, for Scarlet Imprint. That was going for £60, if I remember correctly, 60 or £70. Uh, so yes, um, this, is, uh, this, is, this is a little bit um, uh, less expensive. Um, uh, but yes, you can have a quick look over here at the contents. It looks very, very exciting. And I think they got another one out this week as well, like literally at the same time. Let's, but before that, let's, let's have a quick look at, um, at some of the close-ups over here. Um, of what the book in fact looks like. Yeah, very, very pretty. Okay, and um, yeah, let me see if I can find, um, it's the, the, the Tarot of the Gypsy Mother, something along those lines. The Divine Gypsy Mother, that's right, which is a, a book and an accompanying tarot, that's right. And I think that people are starting to receive their copies of this as well. And you can see just how beautiful this, um, this, this is, you know, as, as usual, as I say. There we are, yeah, and uh, maybe some of, the, some of the artwork from the tarot itself, right? Beautiful. Mmm, good stuff. Okay, news from Cherubim Press coming in 2024. So they released the um, the flying rolls, uh, something like that, of the Golden Dawn, and that kind of sold out within minutes, <laughs> if I remember correctly. Uh, and now they are publishing the complete initiation rituals of the Golden Dawn. And same thing, they're, they're going for very, very small numbers, 120 copies. So I expect that that will go very fast as well. I would, um, I would keep a very close eye if you're interested, because yeah, uh, it will be a question of, of, of minutes hours if you're very lucky uh, for this to sell out if it's anything like the flying rolls uh, which came out this year um but yeah uh, exciting news for the 120 lucky ones who will get copies uh, so that's very very cool stuff uh links down below as always theurgy uh, theory and practice which i told you about back in May, I think it was. Uh, it, it's now published. It's now available. It came out on December the 5th and people are starting to share pictures of the copies that they've received on social media. I am in Poland and so it takes a little bit of time for these books to uh, cross the Atlantic and to actually make their ways into the European Union. Uh, so I'll be receiving, I should be receiving mine around the 14th of December. So another week for me to wait but uh, but yeah, it's it's probably one of the books I've been most excited uh, about this this year, and uh, yeah, I haven't read anything from P.D. Newman's so far. But you know, just just looking at that subtitles, I'm completely you know <laughs> uh, overwhelmed with excitement. Uh, you can see some of the um, some of the the reviews on the back over here, and. Uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just extremely extremely excited for it. Um, if you haven't got your uh, your order in yet, then do do put your order in. Uh, I've got January 10th to 31st for delivery, but that's because I'm I'm speaking to you from Poland, right? So if I was to order from Amazon.com, then those would be the uh, the the shipping the shipping uh, uh, delays, uh, the, the the delivery times, right? Um, if you're based in wherever you're based just use your local your local amazon or your local bookshop if you're lucky enough to live close to a an english speaking bookshop that actually um, uh, carries um, interesting books like this one 
Then we've got the Gnostic Path of St. Thomas, which is coming out tomorrow as I speak. Today, for most of you watching, I'm recording this on Thursday 7th of December. Um, this is another one that I'm extremely excited about. So again, I don't know Tao Malachi. I know that he's very respected in modern Gnostic circles. And uh, this is a book that's published by Llewellyn. So, uh, you know, there's uh, there's a certain amount of uh, of rigor that goes in there. So it's not just a self-published book. Right. Um, and so, yeah, the Gnostic path of St. Thomas is is very close to my heart. You know, it's it's very important to me, this uh, this particular topic. So I'm extremely excited for it. And um, uh, yeah, I'll 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 be looking out for it, and I'm sure, as I'm sure many of you watching will also be looking out for it. And then there's Conjuring Dirt, Magic of Footprints, Crossroads and Graveyards by Taryn S. Right under your feet lies one of the best magical tools a practitioner could use in their workings. Dirt. I kind of talk about, well, I don't really talk about it, but I kind of touch upon the subject in the section on the Marie Louis in my um, uh, Saturday video that members, some members have seen already, but uh, most of you will get to see uh, on this Saturday, the 9th of December, um, on um, seven uh, kind of group, uh, what, what did I call it? Seven uh, uh, creepy Christmas creatures, something along those lines, right? So some some gruesome Christmas traditions, and uh, where they 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 actually bury the this the skull of a horse in South Wales uh, for for the Marie Louis, um, uh, which is this this kind of spectral horse head which goes around uh, from house to house asking for food and drink. You can. Find out all about that in my upcoming video. But uh, but yes, this book seems to be precisely about that. The dirt magic, right? Kind of um, kind of underestimated and uh, underexplored. Some people have really gone into it in quite some depth. Depth. Uh, Frater Acher, uh, Josephine McCarthy. But uh, I'm always delighted. Uh, to 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 find uh, new work looking into dirt magic, whether it comes from graveyards, footprints, crossroads, or elsewhere, the dirt from different places is a powerful aid in the magic uh, to your workings. When the work, when we work with dirt, we're working with one of the most fundamental elements of being human. From dust, we appeared to and to dust we shall return, the saying goes. Dirt creates a magical energetic link that heightens any endeavor. This element of earth brings a deep spiritual dynamic and connection to any working, uh, since, it might be the since it might be difficult to decide where to start because dirt covers the planet, even under the oceans. Author Taran S. narrows the focus to specific magical um, spiritual locations Look, um, locations of merit and power for you for you to collect your own dirt. It sounds great, doesn't it? I mean, it sounds exciting. It sounds, you know, off the trodden path. It sounds like some 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 real magic, <laughs> right? There's not very much of that going around, despite how much talk of magic there is. Okay, and then we've got the uh, uh, Ignota Diary 2024. I tell you about this every year. In previous years, when I've told you about it, around this time it's all been sold out, but uh, it seems like they've learnt their lesson and they've made a few more this year. And um, yeah, I think I already told you about this again around July, August, when the pre-orders all started going out. But it seems that uh, if you were to purchase a an Ignota Diary 2024 today, you could still actually do that actually through Amazon, which is um, which is fun. The Ignota Diaries, if you don't know them, they're paperback diaries, right? Uh, nothing much to look at, although they're always kind of interesting with, um, you know, just, just an interesting design. Like there's always kind of this, this portal with a different design in every year. Uh, so, you know, it's smart looking, but it's, you know, it's, it is a paperback. Uh, but inside, in every page, uh, it, it's a regular diary, uh, but on every page you get um, uh, just, just little um, 
notes of interest for the magician, right? So whether it's something to do with astrology or something to do with just uh, your your everyday planetary rituals or something to do with um, uh, candles or, you know, ideas for your altar or whatever it might be. So it's um, it's 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 a nice accompaniment for those of you who enjoy uh, a paper diary during your year. If you're watching my channel, it's likely that you're going to enjoy something like this. Uh, I recommend checking out previous years. Did I do a review of the 2022 one, maybe? I think maybe I did. Something to, to check out, possibly. Okay, and more Amazon stuff. I'm sorry I'm inundating you with Amazon stuff, but there's a lot of really cool stuff on Amazon this week. Um, and uh, again, I'll remind you that if you can support your local English language bookshop, then, uh, then, then please do. You know, if they're carrying these books and if they're not carrying these books, you can actually ask them. Could you please get this book in? And they will. Of course they will. OK, so uh, this is one that I'm very excited for, which came out a couple of days ago. It's called Healing Pluto Problems, an astrological guide. So this is actually a book from the 1980s and um, you can find out about a bit more about it over here. It's really looking into Pluto. So Pluto was the, um, the, the Roman god of the underworld, so the equivalent of Hades. And um, uh, yeah, and you can find the, uh, the, the first 35 pages over, over here. I'll leave a, a link down below so you can find out a little bit about what is inside the list, of, the table of contents, list of charts, a uh, list of exercises. Let's have a quick look. Uh, cleansing yourself of guilt, cleansing yourself of resentment, so on and so forth. Some 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 cool stuff, right? And then there's a new introduction, and then the book itself. So uh, yeah, it's Red Wheel Wiser who are republishing this, and uh, it seems seems like a like an exciting an exciting book and possibly a classic, right? Yeah, I don't think they would be republishing it if it weren't worth something. Uh, OK, let's move on to. Uh, so I think this was a Kickstarter that was very, very popular. It was very well advertised. Uh, uh, and as you can see, it's getting an average review of 4.9 stars. It's called The Book, and it's the ultimate guide to rebuilding civilization. And it looks very beautiful. <laughs> it looks really, really nice. I'll show you some of the pages from inside. And anyway, it seems that it's now available to purchase uh, rather than to back as a Kickstarter, right? So they've clearly uh, printed more than just what the backers asked for. And now if you'd like your own copy, even though you weren't a backer, it seems like you can actually do go ahead and do that. It's very beautiful, right? Um, I, I guess I'm not the only one thinking that. Um, it seems a little whimsical, right? It doesn't seem like a straight up what you need to know to rebuild a civilization, but it seems to be doing it in a slightly artistic way, in a slightly um, kind of, um, um, <laughs> I don't know, maybe silly way. <laughs> uh, but uh, but, but it, it's definitely an artistic endeavor and a very beautiful one at that. And probably a very interesting one as well. I think um, it it might be worth having a look at, um, at at what this is just a little bit closer up, right? I hadn't even realised it came with a slip case. Now I'm now I'm really interested. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? Uh, That's the way it goes. It's the way my mind works. Um, yes, yeah, so some of these um, maybe uh, uh, yeah, it's it's like. This is how you build a tank and then these kind of crazy ideas on how to build a tank. Uh, the Celtic Weird. So Treadwell's uh, The Celtic Revival of the 19th and 20th centuries saw a resurgence of interest in the pre-modern Celtic world with writers producing a wealth of poems, that sh uh, short stories and other writings that drew on the rich literary wellsprings of these cultures. This is a, this is a new book from the British Library um, and it's, it's just very beautiful, right? Uh, Treadwell's Books posted it on their Instagram. 
I don't know why I'm signed out of Instagram. That's so weird. Um, <laughs> uh, it's the way it goes. Anyway, uh, I think that if you're interested in Celtic stuff in general, this is going to be of interest to you. And if you like pretty books in general, then this is going to be of interest to you. Um, I, I don't think it's a particularly expensive book. So again, you know, those of you who are looking to uh, deck your libraries out with with uh, with 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 lovely looking books, then this is uh, definitely one for you. Um, I'm kind of interested in the contents, you know, horror writers in particular appreciated an element of the weird in their sources, strange spectres and monsters, unfamiliar beliefs and superstitions, subtitled Tales of Wicked Folklore and Dark Mythology. This book brings together a selection of short stories that exhibit this Celtic weirdness featuring authors such as Edith Wharton and Arthur Macken. Um, so, <clears throat> again, if you can pick this up from uh, Treadwells or from any other local book bookstores, Treadwells is in London, it's, um, uh, it's another well-loved esoteric bookstore in London, um, and you can see that they've actually got the Ignota uh, um, diary down there. I hadn't spotted that. Um, yeah, do, do go and support them if you can. <clears throat> got news from Robin Rubin, Robert Rubin, excuse me, from uh, uh, Magic TV. The Tarot 78 Spells for 78 Days Distance Learning Program. So this is going on for a long time, if I remember correctly. I think it's, uh, yeah, 40 weeks. I think the total, the total price, uh, uh, Robert actually shared this with me privately, the total price is $500. Uh, and you can pay that all up front or you can pay, I think it's like 250 up front and then uh, 150 and then 150 or 250 up front and then like 60 something uh, every so often, right? Uh, so depending on, on your means. If you're interested in using the tarot for magic, so specifically, yeah, tarot magic, literally 78 spells, 78 tarot spells. Uh, over over seventy eight days, um, yeah, it sounds sounds like an interesting um, an interesting class course. Uh, but yes, do be aware that 40, 40 weeks is a long time. <laughs> um, uh, but uh, I'm sure it'll be very very interesting. Robert has been in tarot for a long time. He's done a reading for me actually, which was um, enlightening and very helpful. And uh, I'm sure that, uh, well, many of you probably know what a, um, uh, just what a, what a, a, a friendly guy he is. And I'm sure that the class experience will be a lot of fun. And then what else? Jason Miller is doing a new course of the Sorcery of Hecate. And many of you already know Jason Miller's Hecate course. It's a um, it's a contacted course, so it's not necessarily about the history of Hecate and the history of how people have um, uh, approached Hecate in the past, which is kind of um, the, um, the 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 approach from from other sorcerers. Um, uh, Jason Miller <clears throat> uh, uh, has a much more direct approach, and um, uh, it's it yeah the the course as he says right here right yeah he says it's intense. Or at least it's been called intense. I can't stress this enough. Even if you already have a bond with Hecate, this course is it will be a game changer. It's undiluted daily contact with he Hecate, so you have to be kind of prepared for that. Right? Don't go into here into this not being quite sure what you're getting into. Right? It, this it really is if you want to plunge headfirst and be doing um, uh, intense Hecate work. Uh, for the foreseeable future, right? So the first, the next cycle will begin January 1st, 2024. Um, and uh, yeah, many people have said wonderful things about this particular course. Again, this is $100 a month for seven months. Okay. Uh, I recommend going and having a, a full read of the whole thing, uh, how the course works, um, uh, what are these commitments you're talking about? It's definitely worth um, worth reading these, and uh, and and yeah, and those of you who decide to take the course, I hope you have a lot of fun. 
And finally, my board game of the week is actually Dune Imperium Uprising. Now, why have I picked this one? Because Dune Imperium is probably the game that I've played the most with my group of gamer friends. Uh, the original one that came out when the first movie, the first Denis Villeneuve movie came out. Um, it's just a fantastic game. Lots and lots of Dune games out there. So make sure you get the right one, right? Um, it's Dune Imperium, right? Uh, absolutely fantastic game uh, for two players. Actually, for uh, you can play it solo. Uh, it's quite good as a solo game. In fact, two players uh, again. It's got its it's got special cards to bring in so that you can play it two players, but it really shines at three or four players. Um, uh, it's yeah when there's four people around the table there's there aren't many games that I prefer to take out uh, over Dune Imperium well Dune Imperium Uprising is not an extension it's kind of part two <laughs> so it's um it's it's very similar to Dune Imperium I've been watching quite a few reviews and people are saying that if you've got Dune Imperium if you're playing it all the time, then it's worth getting replacing it with Dune Imperium Uprising because it uh, it fixes one or two small niggles that you might have with the first one. All of the expansions for the first game work with this Uprising version, and this Uprising version brings in sandworms. Right? I mean, <laughs> that's that's uh, that's that's incredibly cool. These little plastic sandworms, which it doesn't look like much, right? It looks like such a, <laughs> it looks like a, an Excel spreadsheet to me. The first time I saw it, I was like, that is not a good looking game. But playing it, um, you know, now when I see it, I don't think, oh my goodness, how boring that looks. I think to myself, oh my goodness, what have they done here? You know, I kind of get into the to the minutiae. But uh, but yeah, you can get all kinds of components. I've upgraded all my components like these. This represents the spice and I've replaced those with little uh, transparent plastic uh, amber looking things. And uh, uh, all, all the coins here, I've replaced them with actual coins because I use the game all so much, you know, it's worth upgrading the components. Um, uh, but uh, but yeah, it really is a lot of fun. Uh, and this one brings in just new cards, new characters to play, new versions of the characters, right? Uh, and um, and and new areas on the board. Uh, so it's it's essentially the same board. It's just got some slight differences that make it much more interesting. Uh, it brings in the uh, the concept of spies. Uh, you can see that, well, for those of you who are familiar with the game, you can see that the Mentat has gone and it's now, uh, uh, this this is the spy thing, so I'm not exactly sure how the spy thing works. The Mentat has gone because, well, that's what people kind of go for uh, at the beginning, so they've, they've removed this kind of... Uh, um, uh, obvious first choice so that you can make more interesting choices and stuff like this and I think that that's uh, that's all sounds really good and I'm probably going to replace my first uh, first game the Dune Imperium with the uprising version I mean why wouldn't I if it's uh, if it really is so much better than the first one which was already perfect right uh, so there we go. That's my game for the week. And that's my news for the week. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. If you'd like to have a one-to-one -one conversation with me, I've got links down below and you can have a literally a video call with me where we spend an hour together, just you and me, just having a conversation about your life, about uh, your background and what your magical future could look like and me giving you book recommendations that are very specific for your situation and um, uh, giving you recommendations uh, for particular traditions to look into that might be exactly right for you, uh, that kind of thing. Or I can read your tarot to find out exactly what part of your life we need to, you need to be working on or uh, you could benefit from working on uh, and so on and so forth. It's always a, a really enjoyable um, uh, conversation. You can actually gift, uh, somebody actually gifted a one-to-one -one conversation uh, for their for their partner <laughs> for Christmas, which was really cool. Uh, hopefully, cool for their partner. Definitely cool for me. 
Um, and uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's a little thought. If you'd like to support the channel, then there's a Patreon, and I really appreciate every single one of you who have taken the trouble and um, uh, financial support to, uh, to 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 look after me. <laughs> you know, with two dollars a month, two dollars, five dollars, ten dollars. Some of you even a hundred dollars. Uh, very very kindly um, uh, are supporting me at those levels. And um, uh, uh, yeah, different different um, uh, different bonuses at uh, different perks at different levels, of course. But uh, even just for two dollars a month, then it makes a huge difference to me. And you get access to the Foolish Fish Discord. You get access to uh, my Saturday videos one week earlier than everyone else in these news videos one day earlier than everyone else which actually can make a big difference if there are books that are you know uh, released in very small quantities as soon as these news videos come out of course everyone knows about them well members know about them one day before everyone else which is um, well some people find that useful and uh, and yes those Saturday videos in fact um, many people have said to me that yeah there are too many gifs and too many memes and you know it just goes a little bit too fast and so the Saturday videos I actually release them a week in advance just plain with me talking to the screen and so it's just just a very very relaxed experience for some of the for some of you who remember the earlier forms of my Saturday videos and who prefer that kind of more relaxed um, uh, format <clears throat> so that's what that's the format that I release one week earlier and um, and yeah and uh, and of course yeah the the level three so for ten dollars um, uh, they get um, this form at the beginning of every month where they fill out what planets they would like me to send them energies from right uh, I do a daily planetary uh, evocation and I ask the uh, planetary spirits and energies and powers to send their their blessings and their energies to me, to my family, but also to all the members who sign up for that particular day of the week, right? And uh, and so then I read out the names of all those members who've asked me to read out their names uh, for those planetary energies to be sent to them. Uh, so yeah, and uh, and then uh, level uh, level infinity members uh, get to uh, have those one-to-one -one video conversations with me with a ninety-five percent reduction uh, discount rate, uh, just just as a just as a token token of gratitude really is it's it's not much uh, in 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 exchange or, or or in 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 response but uh, but but it's it's something and uh, and yes and that's going to be it for me for this week thank you ever so much as always for watching the video don't forget to leave a thumbs up subscribe down below if you haven't done so already little bell button is essential and i'll see you very soon with another video take care of yourselves and of each other see you bye bye